Hello everybody, welcome to the next video from Pure Pens TV. Today we're going to show you a new release that is hot off the press. Released today, Friday the 24th of May 2024. And as you can tell from the box, it's a new pen from Twisby. It's an 580 AL in a new colour called Iceberg Blue. Inside the box you get a little instruction booklet, which is typical of Twisby. Labeling the parts, showing you how things work. Because of the filling mechanism inside this pen, you can take it apart, lubricate it, put it back together. Here it is. Uh, with regard to taking it apart, I probably recommend, unless you need to do it, to not do it, because once the pen is apart, it. Um, is a little bit fiddly to go back together. It's obviously not impossible. We've got experience here of doing it, so it's a bit like second nature. But we do get quite a few people who, unfortunately, buy the pen, look at the instructions and think, oh, I'll take this apart to see how it works, and then get back in touch with us and say, ah, I can't put it back together. Can you help me? And they send it back to us for us to reassemble. So it's great that it can be done, but um, as with lots of things, sometimes it's best to just leave it as it is. So here it is. So if you're not familiar with the Twisby range, the 580 Diamond is sort of the original piston fill fountain pen that they brought out a few years ago. It's in its third generation now. So it's been refined over time. And then this is the AL version. So AL stands for aluminium. And this grip section here is aluminium and then inside the mechanism we've also got aluminium bits here the standard AL model these are a raw aluminium color so it's silver um, and they've then done these special versions over time where they've done a colored finish on the aluminium so this one is iceberg so you can also see that the spindle part of the piston mechanism inside the barrel is the same iceberg blue aluminium so that's how it works so you can only fill this pen from a bottle of ink as I said if you're not familiar with the Twisby range um, most of their pens are bottle fill in recent years they have brought out a couple of models that sit below this that you can use ink cartridges in but generally bottled ink is the way to go so you turn the filler knob like that, moves the piston down to the bottom, you dip your nib in your bottle of ink, and then you turn it back, and as you do so, the barrel then fills up with your chosen ink, which you can see because of the demonstrator, i.e. transparent barrel. It's faceted, which I'm hoping is coming across in the video, so that it looks a little bit like the face of a diamond, hence the diamond name then the lid is all transparent too and this is now smooth so you've got polished steel trim there that says diamond 580 in Taiwan which is where it's made and then the Twisby naming on the barrel there and then you've got the Twisby logo on this end in red and then you've got this sort of polished steel there to match the rest of the trim so by way of comparison to other models that they've done the model that sits below the diamond 580 is the Eco. So this is my own Eco, which is why it's got ink in it and it's a little bit battered around. Um, in pale blue. So this is how it compares to that, size-wise, colour-wise. And then I explained that the Iceberg is a an AL model. So they do a standard, which has got clear plastic there, and then the internal bits are black plastic, but fundamentally the same pen, same dimensions, same nib options. And then above the I'm going to say above the AL, they do a model called the ALR. So that's what this one is, and this is Prussian blue. So these, this is a previous release, but we still have some available, and they do it in other colors too. Um, so you'll see that we've now got a colored band in the center. This metal part here is colored too. The internal bits, the same as on the AL, are colored. And then so is this ring at the top. The difference here get and with the grip section too is that you've got these engraved lines around it so 
don't know how easy that is to come across in the video, but you've got a bit of a texture on it, and then this lid is the same as well. So that's the difference between the AL and the ALR. Both aluminium, both coloured. You've got a bit more colouring on these ones, and then also this pattern, which you might be able to hear actually. As you rub your thumbnail on it. So yeah, there we go. So this is the, the iceberg. I, I'm hoping that it's coming across in the video well, but this this colouring is nice. It's a nice, subtle, nice, subtle, classy colour, which I think would be suitable for anybody, really. It's a good size of pen. If you don't use it posted, which I probably think most people would use it like this, it's a good medium-sized pen. Not too small, not too big, like Goldilocks. Goldilocks is porridge. When you post it, it then does become quite long. The the way that the lid posts onto the onto the filler knob, uh, it doesn't go that far on. So it is then quite a long pen. If I compare it to the Eco, which has got a rubber O-ring there to post to sort of hold it into place, I think you'll probably see. Oh, actually, do you know what? It's only a little bit longer. But it um, maybe it's just how it looks. It looks like it's longer than it is. Um, so you know you can use it either way. If you do use it posted, it is quite long, but actually comfortable enough. Comes in five different nib width options, so you can go extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and then a 1.1 stub italic, which is what we've got here. So a nice square tip to the nib. steel nib which is interchangeable so you can if you wanted to buy spare ones that unscrews from there you remove that section and you can buy this nib in a different width as a spare part and you just locate that back in there screw it back onto the barrel so you could buy the pen and then buy a spare nib for it so you've got multiples if you like doing a bit of calligraphy on the weekend but need a different nib width during the week then you can do that so as I said, these are available from today, Friday the 24th of May. It's a limited run, so we've had our first batch. Um, no doubt they'll be popular. However, we will be able to get more. So if it's out of stock soon after that date, then uh, check back or input your email address to be notified of updates and um, we should get more of them if the nib width that you like is out of stock. Thanks very much for watching. See you again on the next one soon.